Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's review, I am going to be doing that on the new Pure Cosmetics Sweet 16 Celebrate Your Selfie Blockbuster set. It's a super cool, interesting product, so if you're interested, then just keep watching. Alright, so let's get straight to the nitty gritty of this beautiful set. It is $49. It is limited edition. Apparently it has a $320 value. Anyways, uh, it of, of course is to celebrate their 16th anniversary as a brand. Right now it's only available on the Pure Cosmetics website, but I do believe it is coming to Ulta later in the month. And if you spend $50 online, this is $49, so you have to buy something else. But if you spend $50, you do get this awesome free gift with purchase, which comes with a super cool bag and a few products that honestly I'll probably never use but it was a good deal. Alright, so immediately I want to get into the packaging of this guy because it's absolutely amazing. It's a really thick box though, but it comes in this really cool box. It's really big and chunky, so definitely immediately it's not for travel. As you can see, it has this clear overlay, but inside it has like little sparkles that go everywhere, which is super cool. I mean, it has two pull-out drawers on the side, so you aren't just getting eyeshadows. You're getting a mascara, a lip gloss, a pair of lashes, and on the other other side you have two blushes and a highlight and of course you open it up the front and it's going to reveal 16 eyeshadows in the shape of the number 16. Now when I was reading online the comments a lot of people were complaining that this is so much wasted space in a palette and yeah it is so much wasted space but I think this is more of a collector's item rather than being sensible kind of thing because it's really chunky and there is wasted space, but it's it's a novelty item. So a few months back, I reviewed a couple of palettes from Pure. Their v beautiful Visionary palette and their Creator palette, which I thought were very innovative products. And it really put Pure on the map for me. I just absolutely love these and I thought they were just so unique and such a different formula that I decided I wanted to look a little bit more into Pure as a brand. So when I saw they were coming out with this set, I really was interested in it. I've been using this palette for the last couple of weeks when it first came out and I thought today I was going to sit down and tell you how great it was. I've been incorporating some of the products into my everyday looks. But unfortunately today, now that I really did a kind of playful, colorful look, my opinions definitely have changed. I'm going to start off with the negatives first and then I am going to go into the positives because I just want to end on a good note. But this definitely was made in bulk is a limited edition product and a lot of times when that happens the quality unfortunately falters and I can tell a difference in the quality between those two palettes I was talking about earlier and this one. Now what I thought was very unique about the old palettes was their shimmer formula even the mattes in here were just so different such a unique sleek silky formula it felt a little dry but silky at the same time the shadows in this palette do have that same formula or so i thought it is a similar formula but it's just not as good quality so let's talk about the finishes of these shadows first there really are no complete matte matte eyeshadows what is matte is a little bit more of a satin finish but it comes up completely matte on your eye so don't be afraid that this has no mattes you can use some of the shades in here as mattes like the pure color the fulfilled color the confident color hangry loved these are all meant to work as mattes and they work just fine you also are getting about eight shimmers which these are great they are about as good that are in the other palettes, they almost have a very tacky, creamy formula to them, which unfortunately is going to make their shelf life a lot shorter. And it does state on the back that the eyeshadows are only good for six months. Now, will I follow that? Probably not. But that just goes to prove that the ingredients in the formula, the reason why it's so creamy, is going to make the shelf life a lot shorter. Now, what definitely caught my eye about this set was that it came with three glitter pressed shadows. And for a mainstream brand to do that, that is very, very ballsy, which I was so excited for because I love pressed glitter eyeshadows. So it comes with three and I did swatch them individually. On the end is a color that I just thought was really pretty. But as you see these three swatches, they're absolutely beautiful. You get a pink one, you get 
a more brown with pink glitter in it and then you get a gold one quality wise those are absolutely amazing i love them you definitely need a glitter glue to set them onto your lid so what i have on my lid right now and i love them i think that th those are the reasons I'm not going to return this palette. Those really are a great upside to this palette, but back to the downside. I thought I really liked this palette the past two weeks because I was doing very simple everyday looks. A simple crease color and a simple lid color. Like I said, the shimmers are beautiful in this, but the mattes, or the mattes, not very good. So today I learned now that I was trying to get more of a deep look that these mattes actually aren't that pigmented. They're not. I had to keep building. They're very blendable but sometimes they just blended away. The more I tried to build I was going for the hot pink colors and they just didn't blend well on top of each other. They were chalky, dusty, and not pigmented. So when I was just going for those everyday light looks just get a color in my crease the colors were great. Today, when I was trying to do more of a deeper look, really get the pigmentation that is on this palette onto my eye. Not so successful. Even the lid color I used, it was one of the shimmery ones. Kind of patchy. Not something that I would like from a high quality brand. Um, I don't have any problems with the staying of these eyeshadows. I thought they stayed fine, especially the glitter eyeshadows. So overall, not the best quality eyeshadows, but you can make them work and the colors are very pretty, as you can see from the swatches right here. Very good palette if you want to go for a more pinky or reddish toned eye you can also do something very neutral with the colors and then of course they do offer those glitter press shadows which are amazing also what I don't like about the color selection of these is that it really lacked really dark colors I know there is that black but it's more of a charcoal and the quality of it isn't the best so there isn't too much dimension shade wise in this palette they're just, I wanted something deeper for my look today and it just wasn't available in this palette. So if you are of a medium to dark skin tone, stay away. Especially because these mattes aren't that pigmented. Stay away. Alright, so let's go into the bits and bobs that are also included in this palette. So on the left side, you will notice that there are two blushes and a highlight. I like how the drawers pull out. I do really enjoy these blushes. I'm wearing Snatch today. It's very pigmented, but they do blend out. So use a light hand, pat it on your cheek, and blend it out and you'll be good to go and I like that there's a more neutral blush and a very pink blush the highlighter is okay um, a little chunky more than I like but it's pretty bright shows your texture off a little bit not the best formula but I'm not mad when I use it at all and the lasting power of all three of these are fine and pulling out to the other side of the drawer you get a mini size of the pure fully charged mascara haven't tried it not gonna comment on it um, I don't really care for mascaras just because I have no lashes so can't speak for the mascara. The lip gloss I'm wearing today, don't really like it. It's in the shade DIY. It's a small milky peach color. Uh, it's not very shiny on my lips. It isn't very pigmented and the pigment that it does give off is a weird milky color which just makes every lip color I have underneath it look weird. Don't like this lip gloss. Not good. And it also does come with a pair of diva lashes and honestly love these lashes. These are the lashes I have on. I wouldn't necessarily wear these lashes with the particular look that I'm wearing. I think this would look really pretty with some winged eyeliner and a simple lid. But I actually am very happy with these eyelashes. I think they're beautiful. I like the quality of them. I like their band. It's a little bit thicker, but it's very malleable. It really bends the way it needs to bend. So love these lashes. So overall, this palette does have a lot of downsides, but it also has a lot of upsides as well. It's only $49. That is a great deal for a set like this. Very affordable for all that you're getting. Um... I wouldn't necessarily recommend this palette to you though. Like if you're going for quality, don't go for this palette, but if you like glitter press shadows, you like the brand Pure, you're an enthusiast for them, you want to support them, and you just want something as beautiful as this in your collection, go for it because you're getting a really pretty pair of lashes. I really love the pressed glitters and the shadows, you can work with them, but they're just, if you're going for quality, the quality is just not in this box. I'm being honest. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Remember to comment down below any questions you have, like this video, and of course subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye. And here I just included a little snippet of me doing the look that I wore in this video if you were curious about the process. And I just want you to pay attention how I really had to build the mattes to get the color to really show. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.